right, today is Friday afternoon. What is it, February the, uh, let me look here, February the 5th. So, yeah, it's time to go camping again, I think. This time I have another special guest. And actually, he's been in one of my videos, and he's really special because he's special to me. My grandson, he's gonna be going with me today. I'm going to pick him up right now. Let's see, I don't know, can you see the trailer behind me? I don't know, looks like it, maybe you can. Anyway, got the teardrop. We're gonna give it a try up in the mountains again. Just kind of play camp. He's been real excited to uh, go camping in the teardrop. He actually helped me a little bit work on it, and he actually helped me film not too long ago. So, anyway. All right. Well, we're just heading to pick up a couple supplies, and I'm gonna go pick him up. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, I picked up my partner in crime. Hey, partner, how's it going? Good. Are you ready to have some fun? Yes. Do you like uh, s'mores? Yes. Do you like hot dogs? Yes. All right. Do you like them cooked over the fire? Yes. Well, that's what, exactly what we're going to be doing. Yep. We are heading up to the mountains. Mm -hmm. Any other words to all my fans out there? Subscribe. Hey, I like that. And Subscribe. Like the video. And like the video. <laughs> All right. Well, we're heading up to the mountains. I'm driving, so I'm going to put this thing down, but we're waiting for a light here. So it is red. And we're waiting. Wow, that's weird. On my screen, it looks like that light is blinking, but weird. I don't see it blinking. That headlight down there. Oh, does it look nice outside? Yeah, I think so. You do? It looks kind yeah, of cloudy to me. Uh -huh. It's starting to get a little bit of frosty, not frosty, but steamy in here. And there is a lot of trees on my window. There's a lot of trees on your window. And out there. And out there. Yeah, well, we're going to the burnt forest. Yep. Up here, there was a big fire. Do you remember when it was orange outside? Yeah. And you could barely breathe, right? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yep. Well, that's where we're headed to, where the fire was. Yeah. Yeah. We are about, like, five or... I mean, 10 or 15 minutes, right, Papa? Uh, five or 10 minutes. Probably 10 minutes would be closer. It's going to be a little bit after 4. It's now yeah. 5 to 4. Yep. We'll have time to set up camp, get a campfire going. Mm-hmm. Cook something to eat. Yeah. And watch a movie. Yep. I see snow in the mountains. Can't see it now. The trees just went in the way. Yeah. There's the lake over there. Yep. You guys probably can't see it, but it's pro it is there. Idana. We are in Idana, and Papa's about to start a fire. Yeah, where this place, if you can look, already had a fire. We're in a new camp spot that we found. Kind of have go slow. You're gonna make the people dizzy up there at home. Yeah. This is partly where the big fire was. Yeah. Ugh. It was here already. Things are a little damp, so it'll still be interesting to see how long it'll take. But I cheated by bringing a Duralog. Are you ready to start this thing? Yep. Alright. And when it's nighttime, we're going to be in there. That is correct. Alright. And this is my favorite part on it. Right there. This is what I'm gonna play on while I'm here. My tablet. Here Papa is, starting the fire. Right, Papa? I think so. I think it's going. At I least I see for fire. A little bit. Make sure that it goes. Mm-hmm. All right. Kind of settling down a little bit here. We've got Aiden playing some games on his tablet, of course, and our fire is slowly getting there. We can't really cook on it yet, but it's getting there slowly. Yep. However, I wanted to bring up something. So, some of you may have watched. I built my trailer. Oh, someone's trying to get in the shot. Are you trying to photo bomb? No. Oh, okay. Anyway, you might have seen that I built my trailer. Well, I've come across one problem I had. I, um, 
about two weeks ago I put a tarp over it just to protect it. I thought, why not? Well, I think that actually didn't help it much. I think it actually made things worse. Because let me show you. I got pockets of moisture. If you can see, like, there's one right there, one right here. There's a little moisture underneath the primer. And I don't know how that got there, but it was doing fine all winter long, and it was getting wet. And then I decided to uh, put, put a tarp on it, and I think the moisture couldn't ever escape. And so then it penetrated. And you can see some more over there. It's mostly on this curve. I don't think it's on the top. So moisture was like traveling down lightly. These little bubbles, yeah, yeah. There's there's water in there. There, I just broke one. I'm gonna have to pop them and then uh, repaint in some spots. But the top, I don't think it has it. So maybe when it's coming down this front, caused that problem. So I don't know if it had anything to do with the tarp or just the weather change or what. But yeah, I just popped another. One. You just popped another one. Yep. Well, anyway. That's just a word to the wise. I don't know if any of you built a foamy out there have had that problem. Let me know in the comments if you did. But, uh, yeah. yeah? And make sure to like and subscribe. You are a little recorder. Have you watched yes. YouTube ever? I watched it a ton. A ton? A metrics ton? A ton. A ton, okay. A ton ton. <laughs> a ton ton. Yep. A ton ton. Ton ton ton. A ton 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 ton. ton. Okay. What's your favorite YouTuber? Slugerman. Slugoman? Slogoman. Slogoman. And if any of you guys also like it, him, do type in the comments. Oh, okay. I think he's got that down. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to enjoy some dinner here in just a little bit. And uh, thanks all for coming along. Yep. All right, a serious game of what we call Traveling Battleship. All right, how about I ask for B6? B6. Uh, B6. Can I show them uh, mine? Now look away. This is mine. These are mine. And what did you say, Papa? B6. B6. I'm gonna sink you. Miss. Ah. Do, do, do. Alright. B6. Are you showing Is a miss. Too? I just showed the ones I was aiming for. Anyway, we're just out having a little good time playing some Battleship as we relax after dinner. We cooked dinner. We didn't uh, bore you with the details. We just had hot dogs and some s'mores and some chips. Were they good? Yes. Good. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Good. You actually slept in, didn't you? Yeah. Is that because of the fresh air? Probably. Probably. It's 9-16. 9-16. Mm-hmm. Did it snow outside? Nope. Nope. Sorry. We're in the mountains. It should have snowed, right? Yeah. But we did have snow on the ground, at least. It was slippery. Well, good morning. We start this day out. It's a little drizzly outside, but it's all good. We'll make some breakfast. Hang out by a campfire. Play some digital fun stuff. Mm-hmm. I am playing my tablet. So I know I haven't finished my kitchen yet. I kind of just have the basics. I don't have, like that still hasn't covered. I haven't painted it at all. I'm going to do a countertop. Haven't done a countertop yet. Just been too cold in the wintertime to try to work on this, but believe it or not, at least it kind of works. I got something to hold my stove on. I've got my slider for my fridge. Haven't painted that. I haven't done any of this space of trying to design it, but I'm going to. That's my goal. And it's kind of nice because of what I've probably camped in it five or seven times so far. And it kind of gives me an idea of using it, what would actually work best for me. And I know everybody's a little bit different, what they would like, what they use. Um, I try to go minimalist on bringing kitchen supplies. So uh, everything kitchen-wise is in that and in my pot kit. Um, from like a very basic spatula. I mean, you could have fancy stuff, but I don't know. 
I have one plastic set of silverware, and I have one metal spoon so when something's kind of hot. Hi. Oh, someone got out of bed. Yep. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Didn't I say hi because I heard you. Oh, because you heard me. Yeah. Ah. So anyway, uh, that's, that's why I'm still working on the kitchen. It is not done, but one of these times I'm going to have it all figured out. But like I said, the more I use it, the more I uh, figure it out. Going to just cook some eggs this morning. Uh, he's having a peanut butter and jelly, yeah. yogurt. Um, what else did you have? Oh, a Rice crispy treat. Yep. So that's kind of like cereal. Cereal all put together. And what? Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> Huge <laughs> like sure you like and subscribe. You heard that. I said it a ton. All right, time to do a couple tips and tricks that I use when camping. A lot of times I'll heat a little extra water while I'm cooking, especially back here in the cold. Uh, it's kind of warmish now, and I can just hold on to it, and it keeps my hands warm. That's a little trip. I uh, tip I do when I'm cooking. And I just made a little hot cocoa and I made a little extra water. So again, my hands are staying nice and warm because the water doesn't lose the temperature that quick. Another thing that I'll do, I, in my cooler, it is a powered cooler. I could run it, but I don't need to in the winter time, especially. I will freeze some two liters. Uh, they're solid ice, so I have extra water if I need it. However, this will actually keep my cooler, especially when we're camping this cold temperature, which is, I don't know, it's probably close to freezing right now, not quite, a little bit above. Um, but I have a few of those frozen as well as uh, a couple of the smaller water, waters as well. And that'll keep my cooler going for almost two weeks. Those will stay cold as ice. Uh, they last about two weeks. And that keeps my cooler all it needs to do to stay cold. Oh, I better stir my eggs. I'm going to burn my breakfast if I'm not careful. I wasn't planning to make a omelet. I'm getting there to go quick. Uh, I'll talk about more of my tips and tricks because I seem to be messing up my breakfast more than I'm helping it. All right, the eggs were delicious. I'm kind of an egg fan for breakfast. Actually, I'm a big breakfast fan. I don't know if you guys are. That's one of my favorite meals of the day. It's the easiest to make, in my opinion. So I'm going to continue on a couple tips since my eggs were kind of getting done really quick. Another thing, if you're going to take bread with you, yeah, sometimes you need hamburger and hot dog buns, but if you ever notice, they get squished so easy. Bring some bagels. They are, um, for bread, they hold their own. They can get squished and they bounce back, you might say. Maybe not all the way, but... For camping, hiking, whatnot, they don't get torn apart. You can use them for many different things. I've ate even a hamburger on a bagel. It actually tastes pretty good. A bagel burger. Um, I've, yes, I've even done hot dogs as well. You just cut them into little pieces and make like a burger out of them. Um, they hold up. That is a big tip for me. Because if you're, especially hiking, they get squished in a backpack, a piece of bread or a bun. Uh, back to this. There was a couple of things I kind of covered over too quickly uh, when you freeze a two liter bottle another nice thing is you do not have a big water mess of melting ice in the bottom of the cooler I hate that uh, some food usually gets soggy uh, what else uh, oh you don't have to go buy ice at the store you just take these put them in your freezer at home and then when you're out ready to camp boom uh, I've even taken, you can do a whole bunch more, put them in a cooler just by themselves so that you have extra to switch out. Because when they're in other uh, things that are not frozen, they don't last as long. But if you're going out for a week-long camp in 100 degree heat, you can have extra of these. And they actually don't melt that quick when there's a bunch of them together in a cooler. It can be, even be a foam cooler. Uh, really makes things handy and a lot less messy. That's one of my tips I love. I'm sure I'll have some more. I, I know I hadn't got around to it. Maybe uh, maybe this weekend I'll talk about batteries because I tell you, battery power is so nice to take with you. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I am not just a diehard camper, especially in cold weather. Uh, I don't like, you know, raining, icky, sitting by the campfire, being miserable. Uh, we had a campfire last night. It didn't burn that great last night, but uh, we were kind of cold anyway, so we went in and watched a movie. But bringing battery power with you and I have three different types that I brought with me today and I think I'm going to do a special video just on that because I was planning on that and I might do that 
here in just a little bit, but I'll put it in a separate video. Uh, another thing I like is battery powered lights. Uh, it's just so handy to have. I got a couple in the back here and I just reflect it up off the uh, top awning. And since it's white, it just illuminates this whole back area. And I don't have to have any wiring back here for a light switch. Worry about if the house battery is dead, then I don't have light back here. It doesn't matter. I just have a few of these around. These are both battery powered. This one's handy because, again, it has a USB right into it. So I can even charge my phone if I need to off this battery pack that is actually also a light. has a handy handle. It also uses as a handle. It can set up as a light using the handle. So, yeah. All right. That's right. That brings me to one more tip that I see right off the bat. I love using the shop towels as camping towels for paper towels. I think I use towels way too many times in that sentence. But all right. Anyway, uh, they work great. First of all, for cleanup, they're almost so much sturdier than a paper towel. Uh, they hold up well. They... They stick together so they don't unroll. Like some, some of the cheap paper towels, you just do this and they start unrolling. Uh, I use those almost exclusively when camping. Another thing I do for garbage and whatnot, I will keep uh, these extra bags and I can uh, put my garbage in them. But just a weekend camp, I don't really have that much garbage. Well, that being said, that's a few more tips and tricks. I hope you guys, wherever you are, having a great time. We're gonna do a few more little things around here, maybe go some exploring. Yeah. Take care. You can relate to at least one of those things, right? I'll be in the car. <laughs>